Had you ever dreamed of having your own personal Jarvis? Welcome to the feature of computing where your voice is your command. In this video, we are unlocking the power of hands-free control and creating an advanced virtual assistant with over 30 mind-blowing functions. That's right. Get ready to open apps, search the web, control your device and even send email all with just a few words. Imagine this, effortlessly opening YouTube, Discord or even GTA with simple voice command, getting instant news updates, weather reports and Wikipedia access without lifting a finger, sending WhatsApp messages and controlling your keyboard and mouse all hands free. Still you think it's too complex? Think again. We will guide you through every step from setting up the GUI to using voice commands like a pro. So are you ready to unleash the power of your voice? Let's dive in and create your personal Jarvis. So before moving on to create this project, our Jarvis has something excited to share with all of you. Jarvis, tell our audience to subscribe our channel. Everyone who are watching this video, please subscribe for more amazing content from Error by Night. I will show you how to do this. Firstly go to YouTube. Click on the search bar. Error by Night. Press enter. Here you will see our channel. Click here to subscribe our channel. And also don't forget to press the bell icon. Turn on all notifications. So firstly we will open PyCharm. Yeah. It is opening. Now I will create a new project. I will give it name as Jarvis AI. And here you can see that it is showing us create a new environment. We will create it. Yeah. And yeah, here you can see that our virtual environment is created. And I will recommend you to create and activate virtual environment before starting the project. So first of all, remove all this unnecessary text. We don't need this. Now we will install all the necessary Python modules for our virtual assistant, which are required. So firstly, go to terminal. Here we will minimize it. Here install pyttsx3. Yeah, it is taking some time to download. And also install speech recognition module. And now install Pi Audio. Now minimize this and we will first import PYTTSX3 module. Yeah, so PYTTSX3 is a text to speech conversion library in Python and it will be used to convert our given text into a speech yeah so here we will create another variable that is engine plus to pytttsx3 dot init and here we will include cp5 so cp5 is just a microsoft speech api which is used for speech recognition and now we will set the property of our volume and rate engine dot set property here set the volume i will set it as 1.5 and now set property of speak rate of our java ci i will set it as 225 yeah now we will create a voice module sorry we will create a voice variable voices equals to engine dot get property voices this voices variable will include the voices module of our python library and now we will set the property of this voice module here we will set the index of voice as one yeah so we will set this ID as one because we have to automate our Jarvis to speak text like female female module assistant. And if you want male assistant voice, you can switch here to zero. But we are using one. Yeah. So now we will create a speak function in our Jarvis. Yeah. Def speak. 
text here write intent dot say and it will include text and intent dot run and wait this will wait for user input in this main function we will define this speak function yeah here we will write hi i am your virtual assistant we will reformat this function yeah now we will run this program hi i am your virtual assistant yeah you can see that by giving this text to our speech function we can see that virtual assistant is speaking us to that hi i am hi i am your virtual assistant now i will create a env file that will contain a key value pairs and we can set them as a environment variable yeah here we will create another file that is dot env and this will contain our sensitive data like username that we will write through set our both name here we will write jarvis and this env file will contain all our api key and sensitive data yeah so go to main.py and here we will first include user equals to config and here we will write our host name boat you can see that it is giving us confusion error to solve this error we will install another module that is pip install python decouple and it is installed and here we will write from decouple import config and you can see that our configuration error is solved now we will create a greeting function by which our virtual assistant will greet us before starting any conversation so here we will write def greet me and here we will first need to install another module that is pip install date time now we have to import this date time model from date time import date time uh, now in this greeting function we will write our main code that is hour equals to date time dot now and now we will include some if else condition if hour is less than equals to 6 and hour is less than equals to 12 our assistant will greet us and if hour is greater than equals to 12 and hour is less than equals to 16 it will greet us good afternoon user now we will create another elif condition elif hour is less than equals to 16 hour is less than 19 good evening now we will create a regular condition that is it will always speak to us i am your boat name how may i assist you it will contain user yeah 
now we will remove all this and just only include greet me function and now we will run this program and see whether this function is running correctly or not i am jarvis how may i assist you drove yeah you can see that this jarvis ai is is speaking his own name and also speaking our username which we have given in this user module it is not giving us any of one of these statement because i am recording it in midnight now we will create some more greeting text which our virtual assistant will speak during random conversation to continue conversation and to respond to user input statement now here create another python file that is con.py and here we will write random text equals to here write just a second sir yeah now go to main.py here first of all we will import random text from one import random text sorry we have to give it name as random text here we have to write random now we will create a new function that will take command from user speech and recognize the command using speech recognition module so first of all we have to import speech recognition module import speech recognition as sr and now we will create a function so this speech recognition module help us to recognize the audio from user and here we will create def take command here we will write s r equals to sr dot recognizer this method perform speech recognition on the audio passed to it using google speech recognition api and here we will write with sr dot microphone as source it will include print listening print listening and here write r dot post threshold equals to one it will wait for user in user input voice statement and here we will write audio is equals to r dot listen source now here we will create a try block here write print recognizing here we will write query equals to r dot recognize google and here we will write argument variable that as audio and language here we will write english indian and now we will write here print query yeah so this query variable will store all the input voice statement user has provided and now we will write some more if else condition if not stop in query or exit our function will speak some random text we have written in conversation.py and it will continue the basic conversation between jarvis ai and user so first of all here we will import from random import choice yeah now go here and here write choice so it will take any one of these three statement from random text 
and in else condition we will write Howard equals to date time dot now dot hour now write if hour is less than equals to 21 and hour is less than 6 good night sir take care in as condition we will write speak have a good day yeah and after all this we will write exit statement yeah so this fln's condition basically states that if user state if user say stop in a query then it will goes in exit condition where our system will exit the normal conversation and if if the user doesn't have spoken stop or exit in a query it will continue the conversation between user and virtual assistant now here we will write exception block that if voice if voice is not recognized by our jarvis it will throw us error and in this exception block we will write speak sorry here set query is equals to none and in the end return query if any exception occurs while recognizing we will send apology to the user now after writing all this code here we will go to main function and now we will create our first statement that is here first of all include all this in while statement query equals to take command dot lower and in this while statement we will write if jar if user say how are you in query our jarvis will respond i am absolutely fine sir what about you yeah and now we will run this function and see whether our this take command function is running correctly or not i am jarvis how may i assist you drav Jarvis, how are you? Cool, I'm on it, sir. I am absolutely fine, sir. What about you? Jarvis, stop listening. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, so you can see that here our both conditions are running correctly. That first is this take command with function, and second is that this stop statement will terminate the program. Now we will move to next function now as you know in the previous function i have added audio listening function to our jarvis but this have a major problem that it does not have any post function due to which it will only stop when the program terminates or any exception occurs in a program so to solve this i will create a start and pause listening function in this program to automate our jarvis to pause audio listening whenever user wants and start whenever user wants so first of all here we have to import right here pip install keyboard now minimize this and here we have to import keyboard import keyboard now here we will write listening First to false and here we will create a function def start listening here write global listening and set listening equals to 
true this function will start listening and here we will create another function for stopping our Jarvis to listen pause listening yeah and here we will also write global listening and in this function we set listening variables equals to false here write print reformat all this yeah so to achieve this we have to we have to use hotkeys to automate our function and here we will write keyboard dot add hotkey here write combination of keys that you will use to, to start listening here include the start listening function remove these brackets and also include pause listening function here write another key combination for stop listening Control plus alt plus p yeah so our this start and pause listening function is created now we will check this after writing this hotkeys variable we will go back to main function and here we will write if listening yeah include all this statement in this if block include all this statement in this if block and this function will run if the listening from if the listening variable is true so now i will run this program and check whether our hotkeys are running correctly or not i am jarvis how may i assist you drove now i will press the hotkey combination which we have set for start listening to automate our Jarvis to start to listen to our voice. Now I will press Ctrl plus Alt plus K to start listening. Yeah, here you can see that our Jarvis has started listening. And now we will pause it by Ctrl plus Alt plus P. Yeah, it will not. Cool, I'm on it, sir. Yeah, you can see that it has recorded this video, but it will not start listening again until we press ctrl plus alt plus k yeah so you can see that our both start listening and post listening function are running perfectly yeah now we will move back to our next functions so here we will make some more function through which our jarvis interacts with our system application and here i will automate jarvis to open and perform operation on various applications like notepad calculator discord camera and etc so first of all go here and here we will import os and also import sub process as sp yeah now go back to main function here we will write our first statement that is elif Open command prompt in query. Here our Jarvis will speak. Opening command prompt and here we will write OS dot system start this will open the command prompt of our system here we will write another elif statement that will contain open camera here our jarvis will speak opening camera for opening camera we will write command that is sp dot run start sorry here we have to write dot start microsoft dot windows dot camera 
HL equals to true. Here include another statement, statement that is elif open notepad speak opening notepad for you sir. Here we will write os dot start file and now here you have to write the path of your notepad so before writing this we have to first create a variable that is and this will include the path execution path of our notepad application in our system yeah so we will firstly copy that execution path from our system now i will paste here the execution path of our notepad application yeah and now here we will include notepad path this will open the notepad in our system and include another statement that is alif open discord here is speak opening discord for you sir here write discord path now again we have to copy the execution path of our application and paste it here os dot start file discord path include another is elif statement elif open gta here write is pick opening gta for you sir here write gta path now again copy the execution path of our application here paste it and os dot start file here write gt path so now we will run, run this program i am jarvis how may i assist you drav Jarvis open command prompt. Okay, sir, I'm working on it. Opening command prompt. Yeah, you can see that it has opened uh, command pr prompt for us. And now we'll open some more. Jarvis open camera. Just a second, sir. Opening camera, sir. Jarvis, stop listening. Have a good day, sir. Now we will again run this program. Sorry for making this mistake. I am Jarvis. How may I assist you? Drav. Jarvis, open GTA. Cool, I'm on it, sir. Opening GTA for you, sir. It will take some time to open GTA. Cool, I'm on it, sir. Opening GTA for you, sir. Yeah, you can see that it has opening. It is opening Rockstar Game Launcher, which is the parent company of GTA 5. And Jarvis, open Notepad. Cool, I'm on it, sir. Opening Notepad for you, sir. Yeah, our notepad function is also running correctly. And now Jarvis open Discord. Okay, sir, I'm working on it. Opening Discord for you, sir. Yeah, our Discord has execution path error, so we will solve this and we will run this program again. Now we will run this function again. For Discord execution path. I am Jarvis. How may I assist you? Drav. Jarvis, open Discord. Okay, sir, I'm working on it. Opening Discord for you, sir.
yeah here you can see that it has opened us discord and uh, basically i am giving a shout out to our discord server channel if you have any doubt or any query related to web development python or anything technically related to our channel you can join our discord server for for solving your doubt and join our community to interact with us yeah thank you yeah so you have seen that all our system application opening functions are running correctly now we will move back to other functions that are we will perform some online function in next function with now i will make our virtual assistant perform some more online functions like finding ip address searching on wikipedia youtube google surfing sending email through our jarvis getting news and weather forecast so first of all we will create a new python file that that we will name as online and here we will first need to install the basic python modules which are required in this functions we will first install pip install request now install wikipedia and now install pywordkit yeah all these three are successfully installed now we will import all these three import firstly we will minimize all this import request now import wikipedia and in last we, import, we will import pywordkit yeah so this pivot kit is basically a module which we will use to, to access our online functions like google and youtube and it has many predefined functions in it, this library so we will firstly create our first function that is def find my ip and in this we will first create a ip address variable and it will contain the api key of yeah so now we'll go to google and we'll get the api key to find the ip address go to google here we will search ip5 api and go to this url so we have to copy this one and return back to pycharm here we will paste it and we will save this in json format so here write json and now we will return this ip address variable return ip address here write ip so basically i will not run this program because it will contain sensitive data like ip address but i include this code because it may be useful in other functions as well so now go back to main.py here we will include this elif statement elif ip address ip address equals to find my ip your ip address is IP address and we will print this also your address is IP address so you can see that it is giving us some error because we have to first import this function from this online.py from online import find my IP yeah we will not run this so go back to online.py and here we will write another function that is def search on wikipedia 
and here we will store result in res variable results equals to wikipedia dot summary and it will include query statement by user and it will only contain sentences equals to yeah so in this we have to write query now we have to return result whatever we get from fetching wikipedia write another function that is def search on google query kit dot search so yeah here you can see the use of pivot kit module through which we can open any application online and perform its operation here kit is a part of pivot kit module and search is the function we are performing on google so we will reformat this file and yeah now for you to sorry we have to write here import pivot kit as kit yeah and here create another function that is dev youtube video here write kit dot leon yt video yeah so here you can also see the use of kit module we will perform operation on youtube and play on yt is a predefined function in this kit library so now go back to main.py and here we will firstly import all these three functions we have written in online search on google search on wikipedia and youtube now go back to main function here we will write elif firstly we will write youtube in query and here we will write speak what do you want to play on youtube sir video is equals to take command dot lower and here we will write youtube video now we will write elif open google and here we have also write open youtube here firstly speak what do you want to pick do you want to search on google it will take command as query is equals to take command dot lower perform search and go call operation query elif wikipedia speak what do you want to search on wikipedia so here we will write search query search equals to take command dot lower and here write results equals to search on wikipedia and in this argument field we will write search and now we will create another speak function that is according to wikipedia here we will print the result sorry speak the result speak i am printing on terminal and in last we will print this result which will be shown in our terminal now i think we have to run this program to check whether these all three function are running correctly or not we will run this program i am jarvis how may i assist you drove jarvis open google just a second sir what do you want to search on google drove 
सर्च विराट कोहली कूल आई मॉन इट सर सो यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज सर्च विराट कोहली ऑन गूगल एंड नाउ वी विल मूव बैक टू आवर नेक्स्ट फंक्शन दैट इज ओपनिंग यूट्यूब वीडियो आई एम जार्विस हाउ मे आई असिस्ट यू ड्रव जार्विस ओपन यूट्यूब कूल आई मॉन इट सर What do you want to play on YouTube, sir? Finance Manager using Django by Error by Night. Okay, sir. I'm working on it. Yeah, it is taking some time. Yeah, so you can see that it has redirected us to YouTube video which we have asked for, but to Jarvis, and it is performed by Pivot Kit module. Now we will go back to main dot py and perform operation for Wikipedia. Now here we will play Wikipedia. Cool, I'm on it, sir. What do you want to search on Wikipedia, sir? Shahrukh Khan. Okay, sir, I'm working on it. According to Wikipedia, Shahrukh Khan, pronounced X X N, born November second, nineteen sixty five, also known by the initialism S R K. is an indian actor and film producer who works in hindi films referred to in the media as the bad shah of bollywood and king khan he has appeared in more than 90 films and earned numerous accolades including 14 film fair awards i am printing in on terminal yeah so you can see that it is running correctly and here you can see that it is fetching the result from wikipedia which is performed by wikipedia predefined module python on python yeah so now you can see that all these three function are running correctly so we will move back to another function that is sending gmail or email function so now we will create a sending email function through which our virtual assistant will automate gmail function and can send mail to anybody user wants so firstly go to online.py and here we have to first import from email dot message import email message and here import smtp library yeah so this module is basically an inbuilt module which works on smtp which stands for simple mail transfer protocol and you can send em emails which can be valuable skill for automation of our jarvis so now we will another import another thing that is from decouple import config it is it is used for configuration and now we will create two more variable here write email plus two and password equals to yeah so now here we will save email and password variable and i will not enter this data while recording because it is a sensitive data however i will enter this data before running the program and most important in this password field you have to enter pass key value of your google account not the password of your google account i repeat you have to enter the pass key not password so you can generate pass key by going through manage your google account after going to manage your google account you have to go to security section and there you can find the pass key section there you have to generate it for performing this function or operation yeah so thank you and now we will move back to send email function def i doesn't include those two variable but later in this video while performing this operation i will include that email and password value here right subject and message yeah so now we will create a try and accept block firstly create try block in this try block we will first write email variable and we will include email message module email message function so this function basically provides the core functionality for setting and querying 
header fields for accessing message bodies and for creating or modifying structured message now this include email and here write receiver address now write here email subject here write subject email from email yeah so you can see that these three are header fields of email messaging and here we will write email dot set content here write message and this function will used to send this will store and set our message content now we will write here s equals to smtp library dot smtp protocol and here we will write the format of our gmail or google account we are using dot com here write 587 so here Port 587 is a standard port for secure email transmission and now we will write here s dot start ELS yeah the, so this is a email protocol protocol command and it is used to tell an email server that an email client such as gmail outlook etc wants to upgrade an existing insecure connection to an encrypted one using SSL or TSL yeah so this is basically used for encryption and of our message and here we will write as dot login this is a predefined function which enable us to login our account for messaging by using two arguments that are email and password yeah so write here as dot send message this function will be used to send the email with all information we have pro provided in email variable we will write here email as an argument and in the last we will write as dot close this will terminate the whole email process here write return true now we will conclude the exception block right here accept here we will print the exception whatever we get and in this we will return false this will basically occur if any exception occurred during our mailing process now go back to main.py and here write another elif statement elif sent an email in query yeah so here we have to write a speak on what email address you want do you want to send sir here we enter in the terminal here we will write receiver address first to input so you have to import email function from online this receiver address will basically store email address of our receiver and here we will write speak what should be the subject sir Here write subject equals to take command dot capitalize and here write speak what is the message message equals to take command dot capitalize and here we will write if send email 
here we will write info input field subject message here write is pick i have sent the email so and it will also print it yeah and now we will create a lc statement speak yeah so now we will run this program i am jarvis how may i assist you drove jarvis i want to send an email cool i'm on it sir on what email address do you want to send sir please enter in the terminal here we have to enter the receiver address i will write here random email what should be the subject sir regarding youtube monetization cool i'm on it sir what is the message please subscribe to error by night cool i'm on it sir i have sent the email sir yeah you can see that our jarvis have sent the email and by checking this we can verify that our jarvis had sent the email now the most important work is that you have to include the email and password which i doesn't have entered and in the password field you have to enter the pass key not password i have i am repeating again so now now i will thank you jarvis for sending email thank you jarvis for sending email just a second sir okay stop listening have a good day sir yeah our email function is also running correctly now we will create now we will create some more function and we will see the use of api in upcoming functions yeah so we will move back to another function now we're going to create a news gathering function and weather forecast function by using the news api and open weather api now go back to online.py here we will create a new function that is def get news to perform this operation we first need to go to google so go to google here we will write news api and go to this url login your account and after login in you have to get the api key i have already created so i will not create it again and you have to copy this one um, go back to pycharm here write news headlines does not contain any data and here we will write result equals to request dot get and here we will firstly paste to the api key which we have fetched from news api right here and in this category we have to write general not business because i want to hear general news not business news and we can change this category if we want to but i didn't need it i did not need this so and here we will write dot json yeah it will include all the data in json file and it will fetch from that json file and here write articles equals to result yeah so now here write for articles for article in articles news headline dot append article title it will only fetch the title of news not whole news yeah now return this news headline variable by using this append function all this article will be stored in this news headline and here we will return news headline and we will fetch only six news so here we will write six 
it is getting some error. Yeah, we have to include this in inverted commas. Now go back to main.py. Here we have to first import the news function get news and go here. Right here, elif give me news. Here, write speak function that will tell us I am reading out the latest headlines of today and here we will write speak and it will speak the data of get news function I am printing it on screen so and here write print set equals to slash n yeah now I think this program is completed now we will run this I am Jarvis how may I assist you Drove. Jarvis, give me news. Okay, sir, I'm working on it. I am reading out the latest headline of today, sir. Saleh al Arawi, thousands attend Hamas deputy leader's funeral in Beirut, BBC.com, US airstrike kills commander of Iran backed militia in Baghdad, Financial <coughs> Times, Lululemon founder slams company's DEI efforts, CNN, UC Berkeley sends hundreds of police, barricade to People's Park, San Francisco Chronicle, Glynis Johns, most known for role in Mary Poppins and the Sundowners. Dies at 100, KABC TV, Florida Surgeon General cites debunked claims in calling for halt of COVID. Shots, HuffPost. I am printing it on screen, sir. Yeah, you can see that it is printing us the whole world news. But if you want to print your country, you should go here and here, right? Yeah, it is printing only news of US. So I will rerun this program for india i want to see that whether it is running correctly or not yeah so we will run this again i am jarvis how may i assist you drov jarvis give me news just a second sir i am reading out the latest headline of today sir ISRO to perform crucial maneuver on January 6, 2024 to bind Aditya L1 into L1 orbit, the Hindu, IRA Khan on husband Nupur jogging to reach wedding venue, I placed cute posters along the way, NDTV movies, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Blanchett, Kevin Spacey, Hollywood names mentioned in Jeffrey Epstein court documents Mint, Mint, Salar box office collection day 14, Prabhas film likely to Mint 376.58 CR, Hindustan Times, maximum temperature drops below normal in Delhi, cold wave, to grip up, Haryana, India today, India a major power, Strategically confident, says Chinese <coughs> Daily, Hindustan Times. I am printing it on screen, sir. Yeah, so you can see that it is now printing only India news. And now you can see that it is fetching top six headlines of the day through news API. So our function is running successfully. So now we will move back to another function. Yeah, so for weather forecast, we will first need to get the API key from Open Weather API. So firstly go to open weather API. Here we will go to Google. Search here open weather map API. Now you need to sign in your account. I will enter here my account. Yeah, our account is login. So first of all, you need to go to here and you have to create a new weather ID. Yeah, create. Yeah, so you have to copy any one of this. I will copy my API key. Now go to this API section and here you can find this current weather data. Go to, we have to copy this one. Yeah, we will call, copy this API call. Now Go to online.py. Here we will firstly create def 
weather report weather forecast here we will write result to request dot get and here write f string paste the api call we have copied from open weather api yeah now here we have to insert the api key and in this city name we have to just write city and in this argument we have to write city yeah it will fetch the weather data of our city and go to open weather api now copy the api key you have created yeah so you have to paste it here and in the last write here dot json now here we have to write some variables that are weather equals to result weather zero may and in this write temperature equals to this here write may and temp now in this write feels like result may feels like now here write return weather and in f string write temperature in f string write feels like and here write degree celsius now go back to win.py yeah here we will first import the weather function right here weather forecast and in this elif condition here we will write weather ip address equals to find my ip yeah that i find my ip address of earlier in this video is used in this function here write city equals to request dot and here in f string you have to first insert the url of that ip address here write i baby go to this link and url here copy this url now go back to our program here you will paste that and here write ip address city dot text yeah now we will speak getting weather report of your city here write city name now write weather temperature and feels like equals to here write weather forecast function and write city sorry here we have to write temp now right here the current temperature the current temperature is a right temp variable yeah now in this spring function we will write also the weather report talks about weather and here we will write speak 
I am printing weather information on screen. Here write print. Here we will write description about our weather. Temperature. Here write temp and now we will run this program and see whether it is running or not. Yeah, here we go. I am Jarvis. How may I assist you? Drove. Jarvis, tell me weather report of my city. Cool, I'm on it, sir. Getting weather report for your city reason, rate limited, message, wait or dm twitter.com slash apapi underscore co, wait, 1.0, error, true. Yeah, here uh, we are getting some error because I think we have to, we have done mistake in this city variable. So here we will write city equals to input, enter name of your city and here we will write speak tell me the name of your now we will run this program again i am jarvis how may i assist you drav jarvis tell me the weather report of my city just a second, sir. Tell me the name of your city. Yeah, so here we will write our city name. I will write here indoor. Getting weather report for your city indoor. The current temperature is 18.64 degrees Celsius, but it feels like 18.41 degrees Celsius. Also, the weather report talks about clouds. For your convenience, I am printing it on the screen, sir. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't understand. Can you please repeat that? So yeah, here you can see that it is running correctly and now we'll move to next function. Now I will create a function that will give us information of any film through module named as imdbpy. So first of all, you will need to install the imdb module. Go to terminal. Here write pip install imdbpy. Yeah, I think this module is installed. Now, go at the top of this main and here we will import IMDB. Yeah. So, this module is basically an online database of information related to film, television or any other streaming content online or offline, including their detail available on IMDb. So now go back to main function. Here we will include another LF statement. LF movie in query. Yeah, here we will run movies. Here write IMDb dot IMDb. Yeah. So basically here the instance of IMDB is created and basically this movies.db is a variable that contains all the movies, web series and other entertainment content information available on IMDB. So now we'll proceed here right is pick here right tell me the movie name and here we will write text equals to take command yeah this text is basically used to store our voice input movies equals to movies db dot search movie yeah so here search movie is a predefined method used for 
searching the any movie available on IMDb here write text and now write here speak searching for now write here speak I found this for movie in movies yeah it, this for loop will basically use the for searching the movie here it will name title movie this will include the title field of our movie faced by IMDb and year of movie release now here right speak in f string right title year yeah so now here we have to include the information of our movie right here info movie dot get id yeah so this get id method is used to fetch the movie by specific id assigned to movie in imdb database and it is a predefined method now we will write here movie info equals to movies db dot get movie yeah this is also a predefined module of IMDb pi now here we will include rating equals to movie info and this will be this will will include the rating of movie and now cast of movie for this we will write here movie info cast and now here we will write actor name of all the actor included in this movie here we will write only five name here write plot this will be basically used to summarize the plot of our movie movie info dot get and this will conclude dot outline outline and plot summary not yeah so here we will create another speak function that is title of movie was released in here right year has IMDb ratings of here right rating it has a cast of actor the plot summary of movie is here right float variable yeah now also print this statement yeah so i think our function is created now we will run this and see whether it is running correctly or not i am jarvis how may i assist you drove jarvis search for a movie okay sir i'm working on it please tell me the movie name wealth fail just a second sir searching for12th fail i found yeah, these 12th fail 2023 
12th fail was released in 2023 has IMDb ratings of 9.2. It has a cast of person ID 5447706 HTTP name underscore Vikrant Massey underscore person ID 10791162 HTTP name underscore Medha Shankar underscore person ID 9744869 HTTP name underscore Joshi Anant VJ underscore person ID 11045179 HTTP name underscore Anjaman Pushkar underscore person ID 3348178 HTTP name underscore Gita Agarwal Sharma underscore the plot summary of movie is Manoj Kumar Sharma belongs to Chumbal village where cheating an exam is a common thing. He is appearing for his 12th standard exams and eyeing a peon's job. But a strict police officer DCP Dushyant Singh arrives during the exams. ANS stops the cheating process. Manoj is unable to pass the examinations and starts to ride a passenger vehicle with brother Kamlesh. They both land in trouble with goons of a politician but Dushyant Singh comes to their aid. Inspired by his honesty Manoj starts considering him an idol and wants to become like him. The following year he clears his exams and dreams of becoming an IAS but destiny has other plans where Manoj will have to scratch hard right from the word go. What 12th Fail says about us as a society 2023. Yeah, so here you can see that it is running correctly and it is also providing us the data we want to fetch from it. Like we have provided the real world movie like 12th Fail and you can see that it is returning us the title of movie, year of release of movie, rating of movie, actor cast and also plot summary of movie it is providing us and you can also modify this by fetching movie according to the in entertainment content and various other features so now as you can see that this function has completed so we will move back to another function that will have Wolfram Alpha API so now we will use Voltram Alpha API to enhance our Jarvis by more capabilities. So go to Google and here search for Voltram Alpha API. Go to this one. Yeah, so Voltram Alpha is a basically computational knowledge engine that is used to provide information about any mathematical calculation physics and many more research stuff and it can also be used to provide us information about entertainment entertainment history geopolitics political leaders and many more educational stuff so first of all you have to log in your account i have already logged in and now go to this get api access get started for free you first need to sign in and get an app ID. Here I will give it name Jarvis API. Here we will write for educational purpose. Now here write simple API. Yeah. So copy this API. Yeah. Now go back to our program here we first need to install the Wolfram Alpha module so here I pip install Wolfram Alpha and minimize this and now we need to import this module here write import Wolfram Alpha now go back to here so here we will create a new function that is elif if there is a calculate in a query yeah as i say that we can perform the mathematical stuff also by this api so we will first test it for mathematical purpose now right here app id paste the api key we have copied from Wolfram Alpha site now here write client Wolfram Alpha dot client and write here app id here write ind equals to query dot lower dot split dot index and here write calculate now right here 
text equals to query dot split the right ID plus one colon now here write result equals to right dot query and here write dot join text now here we will conclude the try and accept block right here answer equals to next and here right right here result dot results text now right here is speak statement that will say the answer is here we will input the answer statement and also print this statement as well yeah now we will include the accept block accept stop iteration speak now we will write another function for non math related problem like history or geopolitical or any general knowledge things if what is or who is inquiry or which sorry which is in query yeah so here we will write fid we will copy this yeah now we have to write this as same right here and for now we will write a try block yeah so in this try block we will first write ind equals to query dot lower dot index and here we will write what is and here we will, will here we will write the if statement if what is in query dot lower else query dot lower dot index who is and in this if statement we will write who is in query dot lower else yeah in this query dot lower dot index we will write which is yeah right if which is in query dot lower sorry query dot lower here we will write as none yeah now include another if statement if ind is not none yeah so basically this all three statement is said that if what is in query the query dot lower index will be set to what is and also vice versa for these two yeah now move back to this if condition here we will write text equals to ind plus 2 and here we will write res equals to client dot query here write dot join text and write answer 
equals to we write result answer equals to next res result dot dot text and here we will write another spq statement that is the answer is plus answer print statement here we will copy all this now in this we have to write else condition else here write speak i could not find that here write accept block stop iteration this will occurs when our iteration is stopped and here we will write i couldn't find that yeah so i think our program is fully completed now i will check this by performing some operations yeah so basically this both two blocks will state that first of all first one will be used to solve any mathematical problem and second one is used to fetch any educational related problem or any questions regarding geopolitical entertainment and other fields so now i will run this program I am Jarvis. How may I assist you? Drove. Jarvis, calculate the square root of 81. Just a second, sir. The answer is 9. Calculate the square of 10. Okay, sir, I'm working on it. The answer is 100. Calculate the square of 100. Okay, sir, I'm working on it. The answer is 10,000. Yeah, so here you can see that all these math mathematical functions are running correctly. Now we will run for another program for another statement that are what if this are included. Now we will ask our Jaris this basic questions. Uh, what is the population of India? Just a second, sir. The answer is 1.43 billion people. World rank, first, 2023 estimate. Who is Pikachu? Cool, I'm on it, sir. The answer is name Pikachu. Japanese name, Pikachu. Pokedex number 25. Type electric. Pokedex color yellow. Generation Generation I Icon Footprint What is Titanic box office inflation? Cool, I'm on it, sir. The answer is $1.243 billion, US dollars. Adjusted to current dollars using CPI. What is the value of Indian rupee? Cool, I'm on it, sir. The answer is 1 colon and 20 centavos, US cents. 1 cent, US dollars. May 1st, 2024. Who is the richest person in the world? Cool, I'm on it, sir. The answer is Bernard Arnault. As of December 2022. What is the world GDP per capita? Cool, I'm on it, sir. The answer is $12,647 per year per person, 2022 estimate. So yeah, here you can see that it is answering us some general question which we have asked him. And you can see that our Wolfram Alpha function is also running correctly. As you have seen earlier in this video, 
I automate Jarvis to subscribe our channel. So that function was basically achieved by a Python module named as a PyAuto GUI. And this can be an interesting tool while you are creating a artificial intelligence. So in this part, I will give you some basic knowledge of PyAuto GUI and also for example, I will explain how I made Jarvis subscribe to my channel. So first of all, go to terminal. Here we will firstly install PyAuto GUI. Yeah, it is installed. Now go to top. Here we will import it. Import PyAuto GUI. Yeah. So now we will create a, here a subscribe function that is elif. If there is a subscribe in a query. our Jarvis will respond in a such a way that it will subscribe to our channel so I mean to say that I will teach you in this function the basics of PyAuto GI so PyAuto GI allow user to create a script that can simulate a mouse movement click on object send text and even use hotkeys in short, it is a basically a means that it is used to programming programmatically control the mouse and keyboard to automate interactions with other applications. So let's see start. So here we will write speak. In this we will write everyone who are watching this video. subscribe for more amazing content from error by night i will show you and now we will reformat this line yeah so firstly we will create a speak function speak firstly go to youtube and here we will write web browser dot open it is showing some error because we doesn't have import web browser here we will import the web browser import web browser web browser dot open here write the URL of YouTube www dot youtube dot com Now create another speak function right here. Click on the search bar. Now I will show you the first function of PyAutoGI that is PyAutoGI dot moto. So this will basically move your mouse to any specific position present on your screen. I will write here. 806 and 125 1 yeah so basically all this states that the position of our search bar in on youtube this this will move our cursor to this position where 806 is the pixel value of horizontal length of our screen and 125 is the vertical value of our screen and this one is the number of clicks now i will write pi auto gi dot click and this is a click function in pi auto gi that will be used to automate 
our mouse and here we will write clicks equals to 1 and interval equals to 0 here write button equals to left yeah so in this this is a horizontal position and this is the vertical position and this is number of clicks and error by night this will search error by night prior to gi function that is type right will be used in this method here it will be used to write error by night As I shown earlier in this video, the use of notepad, you can also use this type write function with PyOtoGI to automate your notepad, whatever you want to write, or and you can use this method in any applications to automate that application. Here you will write time dot slip one, and here write speak. Pi to gi dot press yeah so this will automate our keyboard to press any of the key and now we will write pi to gi dot press nine seven one three one four and one Here, yeah, right. Speak. And on this, we will create another move to function. Here, we will write 1638 and 314 and 1. Yeah, so you know this three values. This is a x coordinate and this is y coordinate and this is number of clicks. Yeah, so here we will write speak function. Click here to subscribe our channel by auto gi dot click and in this we will write the coordinate of x 1688 and coordinate of y 314 and x equals to 1 0 and button will be our left click yeah and also don't yeah here we will use another move to function by the right dot click here we will click the bell icon x is equals to 1750 y equals to 314 clicks equals to 1 and interval equals to 0 here we will also write the button set it to left and in the last we will say speak Turn on all notifications. I have to gi dot click and this will turn on all notification. X is equals to 750. Y equals to X equals to 1. Interval equals to 0. 
button equals to left yeah so i think our program is created and so now we will run this program and see whether how good it is made yeah good morning drove i am jarvis how may i assist you drove jarvis subscribe to our channel okay sir i'm working on it everyone who are watching this video please subscribe for more amazing content from error by night i will show you how to do this firstly go to youtube click on the search bar error by night press enter here you will see our channel click here to subscribe our channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon turn on all notifications Yeah, I stopped listening, Jarvis. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, so you can see that our Pyot GI function is running correctly, and how this our whole this process is completed without using mouse and keyboard. So now, so as you know, we had implemented all the necessary function in our Jarvis, and if you have to make it more advanced. Then you can integrate this Jarvis with OpenAI and you can also use the web scraping tool like Selenium. Now, as you know, we doesn't have created GUI for this Jarvis. The reason behind this was if I had also shown the GUI part in this video, then the length of this video would have become more than two hours. But don't worry, I will bring the new video for GUI as soon as possible. So stay tuned for Jarvis part two.